Hello everyone, it's John again coming at you with another nightly recorded review. Yes, I am recording this one at around 10 p.m. or something like that. Yeah, it's the death slap that I showed you before with the defrosting tutorial. So yeah, he is done defrosting. <laughs> so um, now we're going to review this kit. Yeah, real quick. So uh, this is also going to be an experimentation video to see if y'all guys like certain things that I do or not. For example, right now I'm going to give the box a whole entire 360 so you can just see it all over once and then I'll review it in detail. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. That's front page. Well, front page, but the front of the cover. Uh, that's the left of it, whichever. And of course, you just have a blank box right there. <laughs> yeah, this is just experiment, guys. And more details right there. Just like so. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's go look at this in detail, pretty much. So obviously, you got this old, this is obviously an old kit, first of all. This is right here. Uh, yeah, those are the trays. Leftover trays, forget about that noise. <laughs> that's Bandai 1995, made in Japan. So yeah, of course it's a yeah it's yeah it's it's, a, it's an old kit. It's an old kit. Uh, Mobile Suit XXXG 01D Dev Cipher Gundam Dev Cipher right here, Japanese. This is gonna be the very first high grades that I believe they came out with that Bandai has ever came out with. I'm not too sure. And basically, just in a nutshell, overall my experience of Gundam Wing, I have been, I've always been trying to give it a try. I've stopped like in the fifth episode all the time. I I just can't get into it. I mean, I'm gonna try for like the fifth time one day to try to at least watch it. But yeah, anyways, I'll I'll discuss that like later. Of course, Bandai right here, Bandai logo. You got the Gundam. Excuse me. You got the sounds up. Ugh, sorry, just the way I have my camera angled. The Gundam wing logo right there. Mm -hmm. Then if you look in the well, if you could tell. It seems like the shield is in back of the mobile suit. That's pretty interesting, see? Pattern right there. There's the yellow stripes. Here are the yellow stripes right here. There's gonna be the red part. Red part here. That's interesting. I wonder why they have that. And also, of course, you have a death scythe. You have this scythe right there. Right here. That's pretty interesting. I never really realized that until now. And of course, you also have kind of faded armaments, all the stuff right there. Just like so. Okay, we're gonna move on to the left side. Just have some professional photo shoots of the mobile suit model mm -hmm. and has it in that black that supposedly bandai doesn't like doing up until now now the new ibo kits have black plastic so there's some information about the mobile suit in japanese high grade 100 scale model kit mobile suits xxxg 01d gundam desk high grade uh it says tv right here so i'm assuming they're advertising the show you also have the other 1 100 kits right here, 1 100 high grids. You also have Gundam Wing. You also have. God, I'm not really too, his, I'm not really too sure about his name. Something's telling me that Nataku, but I could be wrong. I'm not really too sure. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, you also have at the bottom, just a little banner right here. This is going to be the third one in the series. Sorry, my elbow moved. Scale model. You also have some kind of serial number here. Gundam W Wing series, high grade. Uh, same thing, Gundam does high. Japanese. Here's a bear. Gun and wing logo right there. Bandai. Yeah, more. Yep. This one's with the effects, which I'll be showing you later on, and the armaments. Yeah, of course, you have his death scythe, his beam death scythe, shield, a beam effect. I also have these. Pretty cool. I think they're pretty cool. It's, uh, I'm debating where they look silly or cool. No, it's a debate for me. But yeah, you also do have these cool little bat wing effects right here. A little blade for the shield because that's what the shield does. It's like a, oh, I'm not really too sure what's called, but it twirls. I've seen that. I've seen that part. <laughs> and you have like this hyper beam death scythe effect. More effect right there. Just different poses and nice eyes. Just like so. Uh, more information in Japanese. Mm -hmm. Just more stuff. Little warning signs. Mm -hmm. Fifteen hundred yen. Mm -hmm. Just like so, and Barco. And at the bottom, of course, have same thing pretty much as the top, except you got bluefin, bluefin covering it up. All right, so I could sh let me let me show you the instructions, but just to let y'all know, I could show y'all the trays, but they're empty. There's no parts because, of course, I already built them all. So let me show you the manual real quick, and I guess I'll just swing by the trays. 
like I said, this is an experiment. experimental video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's going to be the nice cover. Instead of the picture, you have the model kit itself. And I wish I would have showed you that um, who illustrated the illustrator and who put the illustration on the front of the box. Yeah, it would have been really nice. It must have been the Japanese, unless they didn't advertise the illustrators during that time. But if only I could read um, kanji. Anyways, model kit, like I said, got a wing logo, got a death side from 100 scale, high gray, Bandai 1995 made in Japan, Bandai. Just like so. Alright, uh, let's look at the back, I guess. So, front view, more of those pictures. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's giving you letters to point out where the parts, what trade the parts are from, with the effects. And I really love how this kit comes with a bunch of effects despite its old age. It's, it's pretty awesome. And this is a color guide. I guess you have, once again have to read that. Yeah, I see. 50%, 50%. Yeah, that's probably a color guide. That's weird. I never realized that. They don't give you the actual pictures of the colors interesting okay so let's look at this now what i really like about these 100 kits is the artwork and the booklets this is really nice it gives you there's a little story right there mm -hmm. explanation i'm assuming they're of course explaining the mostly but yeah really nice illustration i love that i love that classic anime style it's really nice mm -hmm. more gundam def scythe mobile suit xxxg zod specifications if only i could read that Mm -hmm. More nice illustrations. Yeah, this will be good drawing practice if I could just replicate this. Buster Shield, that's what it's going to be called. So, the shield has got the Buster Shield. There you go. And Beam Scythe. I guess not Beam Death Scythe. Beam Scythe. Excuse me about that. <laughs> Once again, I'm not really knowledgeable with Gundam Wing, but I soon will. Maybe this year. Okay, so they're going to be explaining the trays. It seems like you got tray A right here, tray B on my, the right side of it. You got tray C. And tray D with the effect parts. And tray E with Def Scythe with the Beam Scythe and the Shield uh, Blades. And you also got classic polycaps. Rubber classic poly, uh, polycaps. Okay, so just like so, the instructions are explaining how to start with the legs. They're starting with the legs. Uh, first off, with the little tiny thighs, just like so. Then moving on to the feet. Mm -hmm. It's a rather simple build. Uh, Pretty much with these old kits is just a consistent with seam lines pretty much. But I'll explain all that stuff once we get to reviewing this guy. And once again, nice color pages. We want color pages. Awesome color pages. Color pages are awesome. <laughs> Ever since we were little kids. Yep, more illustrations. Face, air duct. I love how they give you the details on the air duct. That's really nice. And a hyper jammer too. <laughs> it's all black in there. I swear they add some detail. Interesting, it must be just the photo. The photo itself. Yep, more with effects. Weapon, beam scythe, just like so. Buster shield. More pictures. And there's duo Maxwell. Mm -hmm. I believe that's his name. Correct me if I'm wrong. Right, so you get started with the arm joints. Uh, that would be his bicep tricep area. Mm -hmm. You get started with the forearm gauntlet. Black forearm gauntlet. Mm hmm. Just like so. Once again, there's a little seam line right there that you would need to fix. And just a little sneak peek for the actual model kit review. I pretty much got rid of all the seam lines. I'm still practicing my seam lines. You also have to put some stickers right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm practicing my seam lines, so forgive me if they're not the best. <laughs> yeah. Now you're starting with the upper body. Mm -hmm. Going with the torso right there. Starting with the skirt. You have to put a sticker for the V, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. I'll check back on that. Let the trace. Mm -hmm. And a hyper jammer slash backpack slash thruster. And face with the V fin. Famous Gundam V fin. And bust shield. Beam scythe. With effects. Or assembling it together with effects. How to put on those effects. For use in Japan only. I wonder what that's for. I really wonder what that's for. I'm not too sure. Mm -hmm. And some more information. Right, and like I just showed you the back. Okay, guys, so just, well, I forgot to show. Like I said, I'll go through the trays real quick. Starting with, I'm just gonna go with in the order that I have it in the box. So, please bear with me. Okay, so, <laughs> the effect parts tray. Yeah, just like so. 
uh, though I haven't cut out this tiny one yet because it's really not that cool looking it's just the tiniest beam scythe effect that they give you so well uh, I just left it let it be yep just like so 1 100 this is gonna be trade D right here okay so of course you also got your excuse me you also got your polycaps like so polycaps use them all except a few I'm not too sure if I showed you in the instructions which one you were not going to use. Alright, but anyways. Of course, let me just move some accessories out of the way. So I won't spoil that for y'all. Okay. Here's going to be the interesting chrome sheet that they give you with this. It's backwards, excuse me. It's going to be E. Yeah. This is chrome plated plastic. It's, it's interesting. I mean, it, it's cool that they did this back then. Yeah, yeah. But I'm assuming more people would like to just strip it off and use paint now. Because it is easily strippable unless you top coat it. Yep. And then here's gonna be trade B. B right there. Uh yeah, just white parts, pretty much. Pretty much use up all those. Then you got the multicolor tray right here. This one's gonna be tray A, I believe. Tray C, excuse me. So tray C. Not too sure if you can see that. The tray C right there. Yep. Okay, so you got a few light grays, you got this light purple. You also have the red, of course. You also have the yellow pieces right here, just like so. Okay, and then finally you have the navy blue uh, parts tray. Yeah, so this is gonna be tray A. Tray A, boop, boop. Yep, okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Use the bottles parts too. Okay, okay. So yeah, just give me a minute to, just give me a minute to, Set them up on the display base, and then I'll see you in the review. Thank you for watching the unboxing, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. All right, sorry about that. Just forgot to mention the stickers right now. So yeah, I didn't use any of the stickers at all, but these are gonna be for, of course, the little thrusters on his shoulder armor. Of course, you got the V for his V crotch, and <laughs> once again, the John trademark, and the eyes. All right, guys, sorry about that. I'll see y'all, and then. Model K review. Thank you very much.